grateful, grateful. I would be very, very grateful if you'd like and subscribe to this channel to know something about me. I'm planning to do the question and answer session next weekend and to upload it on my channel. I'm new to YouTube, if you don't know me, maybe it would be a good opportunity to get to know each other. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sofo and I'm gonna be filming for you a comparison between my two small handbags, a Celine Classic Box and the Chanel Classic Flap in square, mini size. Um, I thought this would be something interesting for you to see as I've never really seen comparison uh, between these two models uh, when I was searching myself for buying one or another um, and being petted as well, showing you the cutoffs, how it looks on the shorter, relatively shorter girls, I thought would be something as well very useful. Um, also, I noticed that many of you have enjoyed watching my entire handbag collection video, which I'm gonna link down below, of course, um, and being it at quarantine like most of you out there um, I'm also lacking the ideas what I could show you at the moment and um, yeah this is what I just came up with I want to as well thank you for uh, coming to this channel clicking this video and I would be very very great grateful grateful I would be very very grateful if you'd like and subscribe to this channel it would mean a lot I post once in a week and uh, most of the time it's vlog type of content because that's what I enjoy creating and watching as well hopefully you will stay along and watch our journeys I want to section this video in a following way uh, first of all, talk about the different features of this bag, how they look, close-ups, um, how they are structured, what do they measure, and as a next step, uh, we can talk about what fits in each of those. And as a sad step, I can show you comparison of them side by side on my shoulders at different lengths because this one is adjustable, which I'm going to talk in depth later on, and uh, this one just has one chain strap. It has to be said that both of these handbags are from premium luxury brands. Chanel Classic um, flap is obviously from their classic range. This is the smallest size which you can come across. There is Jumbo, which is the most popular and most expensive um, size. Um, and then there is Medium, which I have as well, uh, and I've shown you in the kind of a collection video, then there is small which is a slightly smaller and then there is a mini. In minis there are rectangular and the square mini um, options and uh, the square mini option has relatively shorter uh, shoulder strap um, and being petite of course I obviously chose to go along with uh, the one which has shorter strap. As for the measurement of this bag, I don't know it by heart, but I'm gonna put it down on the screen below. What I can tell you is that it has a five of these diamond quilts, like one, two, three, four, and five. Fifth one is divided on both sides. It has gunmetal hardware. They come in wide range of uh, hardware. There is shiny silver, there is um, aged gold, shiny gold, um, rose gold and i think this one goes pretty well with this dark green color it is very unique and beautiful color in my opinion because i've not seen many of those out there i've bought this in a flagship store in paris on our anniversary when we were um, there and uh, it was really amazing experience the service was amazing and uh, i just could not pass on this one um in the back it features this famous pocket which which looks like a Mona Lisa smile as the handbag lovers say um, has this chain strap which is as well their classic style it doesn't tangle doesn't hurt while uh, worn on the shoulder I heard lots of the time that the jumbo when filled can be very painful on the shoulder but this size as well as the medium size are fine totally fine um just opens with a turn lock which is as well their signature style um introduced by uh, karl lagerfeld in early 2000s if i remember it correct it just opens so 
and here says Chanel is the screw here and it says Paris on the other side and then you have one big compartment which is full leather lined it has the it has a zipper compartment as you can see and in the front it has one more pocket it comes with the authenticity card of course which i always keep inside the bag this one is the in lambskin leather and there is another option caviar leather finish um, none of my chanel handbags are in caviar leather finish and i hope i can get my hands on uh, the next one with gold hardware and caviar leather finish um they people say that it's very soft um and sensitive leather but um, so far I have not made any ex bad experiences with it uh, I wear the sandbag tons and after three years of wear it uh, looks still stunning in my opinion I find it very useful to talk about the prices not because that I want to brag that I can afford those bags or I, that I choose to afford those handbags but because for those who are collecting money to get the sandbags and don't live in the bigger cities where they can walk into the boutique and check the prices um, it can be very useful information of course one will say right now why can't you check it on the web page but uh, some countries blur out the price I mean you don't get to see the price on the official web page and um, that can be very confusing um, I can tell you that in 2016 I bought the sandbag uh, for 2400 euro and at the moment it uh, retails for 2900 um, euro and 3200 US dollars which is insane for this tiny handbag uh, it's um, crazy what Chanel is doing with its prices it's going up and up steadily uh, so if you're considering to get um, one of those classic range handbags I would strongly recommend to focus on that get them um, before they get even more pricier now let's talk about Celine this is one of my most favorite handbags in my collection this is around the same size as the Chanel handbag um, it is called the classic box bag probably because of its boxy shape it is in the box leather finish it has a very smooth uh, surface and it's very easy to scratch unfortunately um, it comes um, in another finish as well uh, I don't know exactly the name but it is more textured and it's not that easy to scratch I would highly recommend to get your hands on the other version because this one came uh, with the scratch already when I ordered it from the official web page but I did not return it because I knew that box leather uh, despite looking so luxurious and beautiful would definitely get more scratches here you can see big scratch mark um, and this happened within the first month uh, after I got it uh, I was just walking outside and wearing something with a zip closure and I was hang having this handbag hanging crossbody on me and uh, when I returned I found out that the zip closure rubbed against the back part of uh, the leather and it just got scratched as you can see it doesn't have any pockets in the back it doesn't have any branding in the front either um, it just opens with a clasp you just press it and then take out the flip you can see here the details it has the gold hardware and once you open the flap you see Celine imprinted with Paris on it it has sort of accordion type of um, opening so here you can see the compartments the middle one is the biggest the front part is relatively smaller in the back it's smaller as well and then there is one with a zip closure even if this handbag looks quite big on the video um it is very small and especially because of this side how it is stitched the the sides just go inside and it is pretty hard it doesn't give um, much for the flexibility um so once you try to squeeze few items it, is, it becomes difficult to close uh, the front flap um, I think you will see that once we try 
different items to fit different items in both of the handbags. What I like about this handbag is that it is a handbag which many do not really identify right away as a designer handbag. So if you want to wear something which, which looks classic, timeless, um, but not so branded and in your face, this is a very good option. I also like that I went with black color um, because there is nothing you could wear that doesn't match with black. What I also like about this handbag is the length of the strap. This is a lot shorter than the Chanel uh, chain strap and it has as well a possibility for adjusting with three different lengths. I'm going to show you it in the cutout. As for the price of this handbag, it retails 2400 euro and this is the same price which I paid two years ago, which means that it doesn't really increase or decrease in terms of value while the Chanel flap steadily increases each year. So I think this is one important element to consider when you are choosing between the two handbags. So if you necessarily want both of these handbags to be in your collection, I would say rather first collect for the Chanel handbag because the prices are going up and up and later on get the Celine um, classic box. Um, but I think all in all price should not be the most important determinant but rather like listen to your heart um, what it says and which handbag you would get the most use out of and which would bring you more joy. So guys I've brought out a few of my items in different sizes as you can see and forms and we can try right now which of those could fit in the handbags. Um, I highly doubt that the Kindle would fit in any of those but that could be a good uh, size measure for you out there. This is my six key holder from Louis Vuitton. Um, here is the sunglasses from Vogue. I just brought out the um, compact powder for the people who carry makeup um, with them at least for a reapplication. Um, here is the external charger. It's like it's a relatively smaller size, but this is what I carry. Um, I just brought the lipstick, a few of the lipsticks, a card holder, which is an essential, and some tissues. And here we have like coin purse, which I use as a wallet because I mostly carry small handbags with me and I find it very convenient um, to carry this one around. This is by um, Hermes and I really really love this mint green interior inside. I also have my mobile phone and let's get started with this one and let's try first of all the Kindle. Okay, as expected, this doesn't fit in this handbag. It also, of course, depends what are the essential items for each one of you, but I always carry with me the coin purse, the card holder, and even if you try to put two of these small items in the same compartment, in the back, it just simply doesn't work. Let's try putting them both in the middle, which is relatively larger in size, and this will do. I always carry the keys, of course, with me. And I've put them in the back. Let's try the tissues to add there, okay? If you would want to carry the external charger with you, okay, here it's just too much in the middle. Let's try in front. And the compact powder, okay. And the lipstick. And even if it looks like that it fits, you can never close this handbag. That's what I mean that this part here, the accordion type of opening, is very deceiving. Let's take a few of these items out 
and try once again. This is already still way too much. I would not want to strain this handbag like that. So I would take the tissue out as well. This is the absolute maximum you can put inside. To be very honest, I carry only these three items and they are just divided one in each section and maybe I pop the lipstick on the top and this is good to go. That's how much it can hold really. But let's try to put in the glasses. If it is very sunny out and you want to carry it with you, you could technically put it in the middle section and still close the handbag so it works. Let's try if we can fit the phone inside, which I already know, but just for your reference. This is Samsung S8 Plus and it doesn't fit in this handbag. Now let's try what fits in Chanel Classic Flap. Kindle doesn't fit. Phone doesn't fit simply doesn't. Coin purse, key, card holder, glasses, lipstick, maybe or maybe not. already has difficulty to close. I think we will have to get rid of the lipstick and then close it. The problem with this bag is that it just gets narrow here, squished, which means that you cannot fill the handbag up to the top, otherwise it just won't close. If we take the glasses away and try the tissues, and a lipstick. Okay, this works again. No bulging. I will walk backwards right now and show you the both bags side to side. The selling is set at the moment on the longer, longest uh, shoulder strap option possible. This is not my preferred option, but I just wanted to show you how it compares to the Chanel chain strap. As a second round, I'm gonna shorten the Celine one to the mid length. This is my most preferred length, as I mentioned probably earlier already in the video. Um, and uh, you will see how much of a difference it is with regards to the Chanel strap, which cannot be adjusted as easily as possible. So, this is how they look both crossbody. They look a bit funny probably with two bags right now. I think the Chanel one is still slightly longer than the Celine one on its longest 
setting. I don't know how much it is, how well it is visible. Yes, I think you can see this one still ends a bit higher than this one. Now let's just hang it on the side. Here as well, this one definitely ends shorter. So this is this is my most preferred length for the shoulder bags and you can see the difference when this is in the middle length and this one is lower than my waist So as you saw, these handbags are very comparable in terms of price, size and what can fit inside as well. Just style-wise as well, I think both are classic, both are very variable, but this one is more um, for the cases when you don't want to be seen wearing a branded handbag. I, I think at least everyone can recognize Chanel because of its CC turn lock. So um, if you want to go a bit unnoticed, maybe this is a better choice. Other than that, in terms of what fits inside, I think this one can give slightly tiny bit more give because it has more softer um, outwear, like it has softer surface, like the leather which is used for it, a lamp skin is a lot softer than this boxy. Um, leather. Basically that's it for this video. Let me know if you liked this review, if it was useful, if you have any further questions, I'll leave them in the comment section. But not only with regards to the handbags, but also generally questions if you would like to know something about me. I'm planning to do the question and answer session next weekend and to upload it on my channel. I'm new to YouTube, you don't know me, maybe it would be a good opportunity to get to know each other <laughs> this way. And uh, yeah, I would be waiting for your questions and uh, hopefully you will stay on this channel um, and see you later.